I'm excited to show you a unique product that not many people know about. This is the MillerTech 18 to 20 volt Edison power inverter. What makes this inverter unique is its ability to use almost any 18 to 20 volt power tool battery as its power source. MillerTech lists Makita, Milwaukee, and DeWalt batteries to be known to work well, but others should work just fine too. This is a pure sine wave inverter and produces a sustained 600 watts or 1200 peak watts. It comes with a one year full replacement warranty from MillerTech and is available for purchase now on my web store at store.ldsreliance.com. Inside the box is the inverter itself and a bag of spare fuses. You can see that there are two sliding sockets for power tool batteries built into the top of the inverter, which is the only way to supply power to the inverter. On the front are two 120 volt AC receptacles, an on off switch, a voltmeter, and a USB port. There are two fans built into the rear of the inverter for cooling and a label on the bottom with some compliance and safety information. All of that is well and good, but let's put it to the test. Here's my inverter and power station test rig that I'll use to put a load on the inverter. By using different light bulbs in the four light sockets, I can test almost any watt rating. For this test, I'll be using two 250 watt heat lamps and one 100 watt incandescent light bulb. I also have a power meter connected to the AC receptacle on the inverter to tell me how much current is being used and at what frequency. Unfortunately, due to the orientation of the receptacles, the power meter is upside down, so you won't be able to read the numbers very well. First, I simulated the max continuous load of the inverter with two heat lamps and the 100 watt light bulb. I let it run for several minutes with no problem at all. The cooling fans on the back of the inverter didn't even come on once. Here you can see the voltage on the Milwaukee batteries that I'm using for testing is holding strong at about 17.5 volts even after several minutes of running. These are only 3 amp hour batteries though, so if you have higher capacity batteries laying around, it should do even better. I decided to see what would happen by loading up one more 100 watt bulb for a total of 700 watts. Unfortunately, I don't really have an inductive load to try to test the 1200 watt peak rating, but I don't think these batteries will be able to handle that anyway. Anyways, I turned on the full 700 watts and let it run for over 30 seconds without any complaints at all from the inverter. In conclusion, this is a really cool inverter that gives you the option to use a battery you already own as its power source for an ultra-portable solution. Sure, you can buy something like this from DeWald or Milwaukee, but it'll cost you five times more and will only be able to use their batteries. For an MSRP of $189 for the 600 watt model, and a 300 watt model available for $135, you can't beat a deal like this. If you're interested in picking up one of these inverters, use the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.